good caviar is gonna be one of the best experiences you ever had. So you usually share with your friends, with your loved ones, around a dinner table or a breakfast table together. So for us, it became like a, a mission for us to be able to introduce people and give people that kind of experience. We were born and raised in Iran up until we were uh, small kids. Growing up, our father was a CEO of a very big seafood company in Iran. On his day off, he would make us breakfast, and the breakfast would always consist of caviar. Our father was known as a visionary in Iran, and that had a lot of pushbacks as a result as well, too, because he knew with the rate that fishing was going that we would essentially have problems in the world, right? So one of the things that he decided to do was he proposed for a sustainable style of farming. I was 11 years old at the time when we just decided that we were going to move to uh, Los Angeles, California. And uh, I was excited as a kid. I thought that, you know what, this is a new world, new lifestyle. But at the same time, it was a completely different world. We started uh, from scratch, basically. Sean and I came to this country. We spoke a few words of English. For us, for two immigrant kids coming here, not having anything, we have been lucky to have a father like the one we have to be able to give us the knowledge and the strength and the ability and the will for us to create the Rosti. In 2014, our father decided to move back to Iran. So in 2015, Sean and I decided to go to Iran uh, for the first time after 20 some years. We land in Tehran, our dad picks us up. We're like, dad, let's go live our childhood dreams we had together. We go to their farms, we see his friends. One of our partners right now is Mr. Husseini. Mr. Husseini was my dad's right hand man and Mr. Husseini took over after my dad basically when he retired. Iran در واقع از دهه 1960 به بعد یک کتاز بازار جهانی خاویار بود هم به لحاظ مقدار و هم به لحاظ کیفیت و برند خاویار ایران در واقع حرف اول رو در بازار خاویار جهانی میگذاشت. اولین مزرعه پرورش ماریان خاویاری ایران بود که در سال 2003 نسل سوم ماهیانی که در واقع شروع به پرورشش کردیم در حال خاویاردهی هستند که نمونه هاش شما در این استخ میتونید ببینید که حدودا 14 تا 15 سال سن دارند We see the process of how Mr. Husseini is doing farming in Iran and we were just amazed. And he comes back and says, you know, these are the things that your dad set up for everybody and now they're getting to enjoy. And that kind of re-energizes us to go ahead and start our father's footstep and his legacy in the caviar business. So Dorosti was born. Lots of love and care has to go into making sure that the sturgeons are able to produce high quality eggs. And that starts with making sure that they have the right feed, they're in the right environment from a clean water standpoint, right? And then they're, they're constantly being cared for. The point that we had a lot of attention to in the process of farming is that in the end, we have a lot of time in کنار دریای خزر و عملاری هزاران تون خاویار اینها بسیار ورزیده و متخصص در امر عملاری خاویار هستند. Now all caviar is created equal and this is the part in the art that we have to go ahead and with the help of our in-house aquaculture and the proprietary methods that we have to be able to determine actually what determines the different grading of good caviar versus the normal type of caviar and what's a premium caviar. Dorasti is, a, is derived from a Persian word from Doros which means the right thing or the right way. That's why at Dorasti our mission is to make sure that our customers are getting the highest quality products that have gone through many, many steps of just ensuring that that product by the time it's delivered to their doors is as sustainable, is as traceable, and is the highest quality caviar that they can possibly get. We're different from a lot of other places. Every product that comes in, every tin gets tasted by me. I have to actually 
you know, give up my okay. And I have a very, very, I hold myself when it comes to a palate, when it comes to taste, I like to hold myself in a high accountable place. I don't want to give anybody a bad experience when it comes to caviar. The people that work with us know this, that it all has to pass the Marcus test. And if it doesn't pass the Marcus test, then it's not going out to customers. One thing we want to share with the world is the love that our father had for caviar. With the passing of our father, it became a lot more personal for us to make sure that this legacy continues and bring in the best quality products to our customers. To be able to give something back to people is the most important thing, the right thing, which is the Dorosti way. This is Dorosti. Come caviar with us. Thank you.